Welcome back to Base Camp WNC. Well, we're back out here on the coast at training facility right here before Thanksgiving. And we got a couple of these little foot bridges to put across. And to keep without buying a whole lot, we've got these telephone poles. And in order to do it, I'm gonna take you along here. What we've done is we've just screwed a two by six on either side of the pole and made several cuts down in it. That gave us all the same depth That'll be the same height where this thing sits on the cross tie to the top. Did the same thing on that thing on the other end. And basically, this one here is falling apart. That's what you end up with. They're all cut five and a half inches. And what they're going to do, we'll walk over here and I'll show you. But from that flat spot, from the top of this beam up is five and a half inches, and so is the one over there. Then we're gonna have some posts in there for handrails and whatnot. We're gonna build this thing at a kind of funny, kind of be a 90 degree ramp coming up to it. So we have a problem around here with dirt bikes and four wheelers trespassing. So we gotta make it to where they can't get over here and play on the dirt. That's one purpose of all these ditches around all the water and everything so they can't get up on the mounds and play. Um, so let me show you how we're going to do some of that and how we trim some of this stuff off. So we did the same thing. Here's the depth of the cut all the way down to here. And what we're going to do, we're just going to come in here. You can take a hammer, axe, split them all, and you can just knock all that wood off. And then you can just take your axe kind of hard to hold this thing and do it with the axe one-handed and then just trim down to the cut lines that's all you're doing and that way from this side of the cut line to the top is all five and a half inches and uh, we're going to show you how to put this bridge together well that right there is kind of what you're going to look like we might have to trim it down we'll figure out if it wobbles or whatnot but like I said this surface right here is right now it's upside down so I can show you the cut but this right here will be laying against the railroad ties that are in the dirt and the top boards will actually be nailed on the very top the other end of this thing and this is for the little ramp section of it and uh if he ever brings that machine over here we're gonna cheat lift these great big ones in there along the way he's way over there with the machine right now i don't know what's happening maybe he's moving now well, here we set it in place. You can see the far end's got a piece of a cutoff railroad tie down below it. These things are just three foot apart. We have one underneath that one there, and then one here on this end, one on this end. We have a 90 degree turn, so dirt bikes and, of course, four wheelers can't get in there because it's a little bit too narrow. But as you can tell, right there's the notch, because every one of them. From this point here, where we cut out the notch to the top of the log, we had them two by sixes set there, so every one of them's five and a half. So all of them came off the beams all the same height. We'll end up with handrails on this thing on both sides. And have to fill in a bunch of dirt down here to build a ramp for them to get in. Ramp on the other end to get off. And uh, right now we're gonna go ahead and drill holes every one of these intersections and stick pieces of half inch rebar all the way down through it, through the railroad tie, all the way into the dirt. They're gonna be about two foot long, two and a half foot long. And that'll hold everything there. And tomorrow morning, we'll have to go get some lumber and go ahead and put some treated lumber down for decks and handrails on it. Well, here's what all of them will look like. It's the first one we put in. Here's the second one. Each one will have two of them on angles going in on every one of them. Let's show you a little secret we did. We took the top of the one quart of oil and drilled a little hole in the thing. And we squirt oil in the hole. And then we squirt oil up on that piece of rebar. It does make it go in a little bit better. A little wasteful for me out here. I'd normally bring some old crankcase oil and do this with, but... I didn't think about that till I got here, but we shut the generator off. Somebody came for a minute and 
Now I got a pile of beating and hammering to get all these things in and drill the uh, second hole on every end and put them in. And then tomorrow morning we'll be putting the deck boards down. Well, as usual, I went ahead and started, forgot the film. So, what I want to show you, I did yesterday, got folks going this way. We actually got it through bolted from here to here. And then from this side all the way there on all of these. We got two more braces to put up in the middle. Two on the other end. And it'll be kind of hard to see. We line it up on a string line. It goes from here inside of the other post that's what it's going to look like you can tell it's on a little bit of an angle it comes down and then this one levels off and goes down the other way just like a set of staircase would we'll put the handrail up two more supports to go right there well we're losing some daylight but here it is, it's pretty much finished. We uh, talking about doing like we did on the off-grid cabin, use either rebar for balusters or maybe some natural sticks in there. But here it is. He wanted to make this thing at 90 degrees. And narrow enough, we can't get four wheelers on, on and across. Like I said, we got a problem with trespassers with four wheelers and dirt bikes. Um, I don't think it's going to keep the dirt bikes off, but we don't see too many of them. Well, as usual, like it, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and we're going to have to make the next video on the training center here.